In this video, we are going to talk about web table checkpoints and we will see how we can insert web table checkpoints using QTP. For the demo sake, I am going to use Yahoo email application and I am going to count the number of unread emails on my Yahoo email homepage using web table checkpoint. On my home page, I have 23 unread emails. I am going to count this using web table checkpoint. So, I will go to QTP. I will hit the record button. I will keep record and run test on any open browser radio button selected. I will click on the OK button. Now, I will go to insert checkpoint and standard checkpoint. Here you need to remember that web table checkpoint is a part of standard checkpoint. So you need to first insert a standard checkpoint and then only you will be able to insert a web table checkpoint. I'll click on a standard checkpoint. I'll get this hand like pointer. I'll take this hand pointer on this gray bar over here and I'll click there. I'll get this dialog box titled Object Selection Checkpoint Properties. Here you can see there is a complete hierarchy right from browser to page to web tables and web element. I'll move one level up the hierarchy and select Web Table Inbox and I'll click on OK button. As soon as I'll click OK button, I'll get a Table Checkpoint Properties dialog box. In this table checkpoint properties dialog box, I have a web table. And here you can see on the left hand side, it shows whether a particular email is read or whether it is unread. The first row or the first cell is the header and we need to ignore that. We need to start the counting from the second row itself. I will press the OK button. Let's stop recording. Now I need to make some changes here. I should first count the number of rows that are available in the web table. So to do that, I will use the row count method and I will save this value in a variable. Let me name that variable as I row count. Now I will use a for loop. And I will check one by one whether the first cell in a particular row contains the text unread or whether the, it contains the text read. For that, we need to use get cell data method. Dot get cell data. Get cell data takes two arguments. First one is row and the second one is column. Row would be dynamic, so I'll keep it as I. Comma, column will always be 1 because read and unread text was always coming in the first column. I, comma, 1. And here I'll check if it is equal to unread. I will say counter is equal to counter plus 1. We need to use if then and and if. I'll use the message box function to output the number of unread emails. Now let me run this piece of code. As expected. The number of unread emails on my Yahoo email homepage is 23. 
So that's how you can insert a web table checkpoint over any web table or any HTML table in your web application. Thanks for watching.